Hello, welcome. This is our class number 17. Today we are going to study the difference between will and going to. These are two forms, two manners we have to talk about the future, but there is a difference between them. Let's take a look. So let's start checking a conversation, okay? From this conversation we are going to see which are the occasions in which we should use will and which are the occasions in which we should use going to, okay? Let's, let's read it together. Come with me, please. Hi, Dad. My car broke down. Think you can take a look? Sure, no problem. I'll fix it after dinner. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. George, did you see that Dave's car broke down again? Yeah, I know. I'm going to fix it after dinner, okay? So let's go back a bit so that we can understand what has happened here, okay? So first, the guy here, Dave, says, Hi, Dad, my car broke down. So to break down, this is a phrasal verb that talks about a malfunction, okay? A mechanic problem, usually. When, when a machine doesn't start, a machine doesn't operate, we can say that this is broken down, okay? It, it broke down. So, think you can take a look. So, this is an informal way of saying, do you think you can take a look, okay? So, think you can take a look. So, and take a look here, of course, is take a look at the car and see if he can fix the problem, right? So, the dad says, sure, no problem. I will fix it after dinner. So, pay attention here. The first time the dad is promising Dave that he's going to fix his car, he uses the verb will, okay? So, this is the first time he's promising Dave that he's going to fix the car later, right? Dave uh, thanks his father, right? Thanks, dad. You are the best. A little later, George's wife asks him if he's going to, to take a look, if he's going to fix Dave's car. Look here, George, did you see that Dave's car broke down again? And George answers, yes, I know. I'm going to fix it after dinner. So now, this is the second time George says he's going to fix Dave's car, okay? And now, he did not use will, he used going to, okay? So what was the difference? Why did he use will? The first time when he promised Dave he would take a look at the car and now that a little later he's talking to his wife and he uses going to, okay? This is exactly what we are going to see right now. So, we have to use the verb to be plus going to for plans we have already decided on, okay? So, the second time George talks to his wife he had already previously, right? Previously, he had already decided that he would fix Dave's car after dinner. So, that's why he used going to. That was already a plan when he talked about it, okay? So, example, I'm going to fix his car after dinner. So, take a look. George had already decided on doing this before the conversation with his wife, okay? So, this was already a plan, okay? Now, we are going to use the verb will plus another verb for decisions you just made, a decision that you make right at the time of the conversation. For example, when George says, I will fix it after dinner, right? The first time he promises Dave that he's going to fix his car, this was not decided previously, right? This was a decision that George made during the conversation, okay? So, that's why he used the verb will, okay? I will fix it after dinner. So, George decided during the conversation with his son, right? With Dave. This was a decision that George made right during the conversation, right? right at the time that he spoke, okay? 
There is a second form of using will that is very similar. We also use will plus verb for possible plans. So, this is not yet decided, okay? It is a possibility. So, in this case, we are also going to use will, okay? Example. I think I will go by myself. I think I will go by myself. So, by myself in this case means alone. I think I will go alone, only myself, okay? So, you see, this he is not sure yet. Look here, he says, I think. So, it, we usually use will when we have maybe, perhaps, I think, okay? Every time we use an expression that shows that we are still in doubt, that we, we have not decided on something yet, we are also going to use will, okay? So, I am not sure yet. This is a possibility, okay? So, we often use going to to express something we have already decided on. And we use will when this is a decision we make at the time of speaking or when it's not something sure yet, when it's not, not something that is already decided on, okay? So, uh, and also it's important to see that it is possible to contract the verb will with the subject pronouns, okay? So, when we have a subject pronoun plus will, we can contract, okay? So, let's see the pronunciation, okay? Repeat with me, please. I will equals I will, I will, okay? You will, you, you. He will, he'll, he'll. She will, she'll, she'll. It will, it'll, it'll. We will, we'll, we'll. You will, you'll. They will, they'll, they'll. Okay, so it's more, it's not very simple, right, to see at the first glance, but it's not so complicated either, right? So, let's see here, uh, let's practice a little so that we can understand it a little better, right? So, so this is a dialogue, okay, we have A and B talking. So, A says, I've just realized I don't have any money. So, I've just realized, I realized this right now, okay? And B says, no problem, I lend you some. So, I am going to lend you some money or I will lend you some money? What do you think? Do you think B had already decided on lending money to A before this conversation? No, right? This is a decision he is making right now at the time of speaking, okay? So, we are going to use the verb will, right? No problem. I will lend you some. I will lend you some money, right? I've just realized I don't have any money. No problem. I will lend you some, okay? Now, next. Why are you dressing up? Why are you dressing up? Okay, so to dress up, is also a phrasal verb that means um, when we put some good clothes uh, for women, usually they wear makeup. This is to dress up, okay? To, to put on a very good outfit, okay? So, this is to dress up. Usually, when we go out, when we go to a party or to a meeting, okay? Something that requires a very good outfit, okay? This is to dress up. Now, why are you dressing up? And the, and the other person answers, I go to a party tonight. So, do you think this person has just decided to go to the party? No, right? This person is already dressing up. So, before this conversation, this person had already decided on going to the party, right? So, he's going to use, I am going to go to a party tonight. I am going to go to a party tonight. Okay, so this is a plan that was already made before this conversation, right? Now, one more. What you do this weekend? Now, how to ask what someone is going to do, right? So, this is, of course, the answer, right? We use, what are you going to do this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? I'm not sure. Now, I'm not sure. I think I travel to the beach. 
So this person is not sure. Can he use going to? No, he's going to use the verb will, right? I think I will travel to the beach. Or if we wanted to use a contraction, I think I will travel to the beach, okay? So we use will for two situations, right? Plans that we are not sure yet about or when it's something we, when it's something we decide at the time of speaking, okay? Something we've just decided to do at the same time we are saying we are going to do it. In this case, we use will, okay? So that's it, folks. So we saw the difference, right, between the two forms of uh, creating future sentences. And next class, I want to talk to you a little about some modal verbs, okay? Modal verbs are very important. I don't know if you guys remember, but there are many of them, right? may, might, can, could, will, shall, would, okay? So all these verbs, they, they are called modal verbs. They are special verbs because they do not require an auxiliary verb to go to, to the negative or to make questions, remember? Okay, so this is something we're going to see next class, okay? So if you guys like this video, please give me some thumbs up at the bottom. It will make me very happy. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the messages and all the emails I've been receiving. Thanks again. See you next class.